All right, back again. Today we get out the Neo Geo CDZ, and I figured we'd pop in this game here, Polestar. So we'll put that in, play some of that. You can see the uh, difference in the BIOS screen here between this and uh, Neo Geo CD if you have one. Uh, the speed on this thing is, uh, it's faster than the Neo Geo CD, um, but, uh, you know, it's not really super like, wow, you're going to be kind of blown out of the water, it's going to load uh, automatically um, fast. But uh, it is a definite improvement over the original CD version. Um, you can see right now how fast it's loading. Uh, it still takes some time, but it's, uh, like I said, it's a lot better than the original one. Uh, then again, the price difference for these two is uh, pretty substantial. Uh, I think the CDZ goes for about 150 bucks more than the CD does, so you kind of get what you pay for. But uh, as far as games go, this is considered to be one of the uh, best games or best shooters, if not the best shooter by many, uh, for the Neo Geo. And uh, yeah, it's a great game. <laughs> This game, uh, for the AES version, I think runs for about 700 bucks, whereas you can pick it up for the Neo Geo CD from anywhere from 70, around 70 to uh, 90 bucks, I think. So it's a lot cheaper if you can get it for the CDZ, or the CD. Um, but, uh, yeah. The soundtrack for this one uh, is considered to be one of the best soundtracks for uh, the shooters, especially uh, for the Neo Geo shooters. Uh, there are other good games out there too as well, like Last Resort and uh, things like that, but um, I think Blazing Star is another one, but this one's considered to be the best.
Yeah, once again, you know, you can see the difference between the loading time speeds. If this was on the original CD, it would probably take, uh, I don't know, a good three minutes or so to load. Um. this game, uh, I definitely recommend it. And it's uh, probably not only me who recommends this game. I mean, I'm sure you can find a lot of Neo Geo lovers that uh, will tell you, yeah, this is one that you have to have in your collection. Um, it's a definite must. Looks like this is where this one's gonna end, folks. I'm losing all my stuff here in the second part. One thing about some stages is you can really, you know, hurt yourself. As you can see, uh, when I was shooting at, uh, at those one enemies, it's actually freezing them and keeping them in that one position. So, anyway, I just want to show you a little bit of what uh, Polestar looks like and. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon, so thanks for watching.